Are you an overpacker like me? Hey, I just think that it pays to be prepared. But I guess there are some times where I'm a little bit overprepared. Well, we're ready to go on a road trip. And if you wanna know what I'm gonna pack, then keep on watching. What's up universe? It's Julie, your kitchen coach, and welcome back to our channel. And in case you're new here, I'm a trained chef who's passionate about helping beginner cooks gain confidence in the kitchen. And that's kind of why I wanted to take you along with my thought process of what I'm doing and what I'm thinking about while I'm packing for our road trip. And this is actually gonna be a more local and quicker trip over the weekend, plus a few days, with a couple of our friends. The cool thing is that we already have this mindset of divide and conquer. So we already have like an email list going of like who's gonna bring what. And I just kind of was like, I really feel like I should bring some cooking stuff because we will be staying in a hotel, but we're also gonna be staying in a house. And I know that with kids running around, being tired and wanting to save money, we're gonna wanna cook. So I don't wanna bring the whole world like I did last time. So if you watched this video, then you could see that I really went a little bit overboard with our road trip snacks and um, packed honestly three of these guys <laughs> with me. That's a little excessive. And that was only for like Joe, me and Lincoln. This time I'm having to think about two other families. We will be grocery shopping on the other side when we get there. We're going to Michigan. It's not that far away given that we're in Chicago. I already got started by pulling out all this riffraff, but I realized quickly that it's not gonna fit into the bin. I should also mention that I really just don't have the room this time because we will be carpooling with one of our friends. So we're gonna be a lot of us in one minivan and we are gonna have our individual luggage, kids. So I cannot bring more than this one bin. I'm actually worried this bin might not fit. Okay, so the first thing I got, I grabbed this from the store is kosher salt. Yes, I have my own kosher salt, but I'm like, I don't wanna like worry about putting it in a ramekin. What if I need more? What if we're making pasta and I need to salt the water and put a lot in? Yes, I could have bought this on the other side as well, but it's one of those things that I didn't wanna forget about as we're grocery shopping. When you grocery shop with friends, it's really easy to just wanna pick up the fun stuff, like the snacks, the treats, the fruits. So all this kind of stuff, I don't wanna have to think about. Along with that, if you saw my Dollar Tree haul, I just picked this little cute guy up and this is a peppercorn gr with grinder. I think that's cool for a buck and I think that's so um, perfect. This is definitely more than enough pepper and it's very compact. The cool thing is if you watched this last video, you saw that I did a Dollar Tree haul. The reason I did that was because of this trip. I was being influenced and I picked up these guys, which don't mind if they're water stained because I literally just washed them right now. They're made of plastic, but they do have the spout top and a cap. And I think I'm gonna put some oil, maybe soy sauce, vinegar, things like that in there. Okay, now I gotta show you what, I, what I'm working with. Don't mind my Sapporo Ichiban ramen box. That's my little tripod stand. <laughs> um, I'm filming alone. Joe's over there, but he's busy. So I just bought these from Dollar Tree as well. This I think I definitely want to put in because I intentionally bought it for this trip. You know how kids don't like food touching other foods? You know, it could also be good for like s'mores or I don't know, whatever. So we'll put two in there, that's 20 plates. If you've watched our Skillshare class, there's a link down below. You can watch this class for two weeks free if you use our link. So sign up, it's a good one. I'm gonna give a little nugget of away. I talk about in that class that you need to t cook with the five taste qualities. So that's salt, sweet, sour, bitter, and umami. So we got our salt, so then we need our sweet. So I'm gonna pack some sugar. You never know when you're gonna need it. And if you don't wanna pack sugar, you can always pack honey or agave or whatever sweetener you like. And I'm just washing and drying this other jar that I got from the Dollar Tree, which is super cool and it like screws on flat and I think it's so cute. And I think this is a perfect little sugar jar. And if you guys know anything about me, I always use my blue painter's tape and marker and label everything. Even if I know what it is, I just wanted to make sure everyone knows what it is. There's no mistake. Okay, I might not pack something bitter this time, but I think I definitely wanna pack the umami, which is soy sauce. So get one of these guys and 
start a fire. <laughs> Look at this gasoline jug of soy sauce. Um, part of me is thinking maybe should I use a funnel, but I'm also being super lazy about it. So, you know, I hope that these bottles work really well so that I can continue to use this system at home. Normally I would invest in the good glass ones like I do with my olive oil dispenser. Okay, just in case I don't want to fill it all the way to the top because we're going to transport it. And later on, before we really pack this to go, I will wrap this in saran wrap. Please excuse my bad angles, crooked uh, camera, whatever, because I'm just trying my best. It's also really hot right now. I'm trying to pretend I'm not sweating. So here, one bottle done. So I might not be packing bitter, but I will definitely pack sour, which I'm going to be using this um, brown rice vinegar. It's a Korean brand, but you can use any kind of vinegar. I'm talking like you're going with me, like you're packing the same exact stuff for the same exact trip I'm going on. I feel like I'm going to go cross-eyed doing this. This will be good in case we want to make some like fresh salads, you know, and I just want to make a quick salad dressing as long as I have olive oil, which is the next thing I will be doing. So far, I've been okay without a funnel. A little bit messy, but oh my gosh, as soon as I said that, I started getting like messy Jesse. What's your favorite vinegar to use at home just for like everyday use? Leave it down in the comments below. So once again, we're going to wrap these with plastic wrap like all together later on. So far it's doing okay. I'm like a little bit too nervous and scared to tip it over to do the spill test to see if it really um, is okay. Should I? Should I do it for you, for science? Ooh. Yeah. Obviously it will come out of this spout, so I'm not going to go all the way down there. But yeah, it's not coming out this way. So, yeah. All right, Dollar Tree, all right. I think I'm gonna use one oil. I'm not gonna take canola or anything else. I'm just gonna take olive oil because you can still cook with it. You can use it as a finishing oil. You can make salad dressing. You can toss pasta, make breadcrumbs. I mean, like, what are we actually gonna make on this trip? Why am I, why am I acting like I'm gonna make a gourmet meal? We're probably gonna make Kraft mac and cheese. So the thing is, whenever I'm pouring olive oil, I notoriously always um, dribble it down the outside of the bottle, even with my current bottle at home. This one I should probably really use a funnel, but I still don't, I just never learn. If you were to pack one oil of your choice on a trip like this, which oil would you take? Let me know in the comments. Woo! Oh man, I still did it. I still got one drip going down the outside of the bottle. Bam. This one, for sure, I'm gonna wrap it, maybe double wrap it on transport because I really don't want a greasy mess. This is what's going on so far. All right, you know what? This, you guys are have to go because you're just too big. I mean, like this alone is enough to get you by with whatever you're cooking, but I'm gonna keep going. Oh my gosh, it's hot. This light is so bright, it's like in my face. It's also like 90 degrees out today. Excuse me, water break. This is also my second video I'm filming today, so I'm a little bit tired. So I did buy four of these guys, so I have one last one. I don't think I have any like really important sauce I need to put in there, um, and anything I do, I'll probably just buy. But it might be harder to find sesame oil wherever we are, right? So I'm gonna use also my mini gasoline tank. And the reason I'm packing sesame oil is because it's a flavoring oil, like a finishing oil. And this will be good for if we do salad dressings, noodle dishes, um, you could even put it over rice. But it's nice to just put it in this bottle anyway. I always meant to put my sesame oil in one of these drizzly bottles to begin with. Always got too lazy to buy another one. So thanks to Dollar Tree, I'm gonna use these kind of like lower quality ones, but at the same time, maybe it'll, who knows, maybe this will last me for years and these bottles will work really well. And then you'll see them in all of our cooking videos. I have to tell you guys, I'm a little stressed because after this trip, immediately after, I have so much work to do. I have a lot even before the trip. I've been cramming like crazy, staying up late. Oh yeah, and this is a little foreshadow, but I'm gonna be uh, teaching a kid's cooking class when we get back. Isn't that kind of fun? So I know two of the kids out of the four kids I'll be teaching, it'll be here. And they agreed to let me film clips of them on YouTube. So that'll be kind of fun. So what happened last time when we went on our road trip is that we did stay at one of those kind of like extended stay type of places where they do have a kitchen or a kitchenette. 
but they really didn't have much. They didn't have the right tools. They didn't even have the good cutting board. So I felt like I was so thankful I brought all that shenanigan with me. I didn't bring my own like pots and pans and I'm almost, almost tempted to do that because they were just really terrible pans. But I'm thinking that maybe at the house they should have some actual decent pots and pans, hopefully. Mark my words if they don't. But I'm going to at least put some of my go-to kitchen tools. Last time it helped me to really bring in this um, cutting board. This was actually a gift from my friend, um, but this is her friend's company. So I'll leave the information for you down below. Um, I, it's pretty cool, I like it. It's kind of very eco-friendly. Um, so I'll leave the name and information down below if you're interested, but it's kind of now my go-to portable board. Um, thanks Grace and Jessica uh, for sending me this from your friend. I'm gonna pack my own knife. I know that sounds crazy, but we're not gonna be flying. We're just gonna be like driving and it's gonna be tucked away carefully in this bin. So I'm gonna bring my own chef's knife because sometimes I get really frustrated when I go somewhere and I use a really dull knife. So by the way, I, I keep saying like, by the way, I'm referencing so many videos, but I do have um, a knife sharpening video coming up. Um, it's, I'm just gonna be using an electric knife sharpener, but I wanna show you like what I do and like how home cooks can easily sharpen their knives. Is that interesting? Let me know in the comments below. I think I'm gonna pack this bread knife with sheath. I can pack this right now. This is one of my favorite brands. I put this in my toolkit. I'll leave a link down below to our kit to just show you what kind of knives I really like. And if you sign up for our newsletter, then you can also download the free knife guide that we got for you. It's an awesome PDF that we spent a lot of time on, detailed with links and pictures and descriptions of why we like the knives. So sign up for our newsletter and you get that for free. I think that'll be good for like cutting cakes, pies, desserts, bread, like loaves of bread. I'm gonna pack my actual chef's knife on Saturday, which I don't know, we're leaving in two days. Um, I don't know where it is right now, <laughs> but I think it's Joe washed it and put it away. So because I keep mentioning things like salad dressings, I'm gonna definitely pack a whisk. If you're interested in any of these tools that I'm pulling out and showing you, um, I do have another video of our essential kitchen tools. So we'll leave that down below so you can see like what brands and reasonings of why I like it. Essentials are definitely a can opener and a vegetable peeler. And this is my favorite. It's also the same brand, Akun Recon, and it's super cheap. So leave that. I learned this the hard way where I really wanted um, one of the, a spatula, but I didn't have it at the hotel. And not like I was frying eggs, but I was frying other things. And I feel like we will be like frying eggs and pancakes and stuff. So I'm gonna bring this to flip. And then a soup ladle. By the way, these are all um, dice. I've really been enjoying them. I've been using them and Dice sent them to me. I did a video of an unboxing of these so you can check it out. I made a video about affordable kitchen tools featuring these and they really are still great even though they're affordable and plastic and lightweight. Yeah, I'm packing all of these because they're lightweight because they're plastic. Um, yeah, and they're still durable. So yeah, here's another one. I think a good scooping spoon is necessary. And then, sorry, these are all wet because they were just recently washed. My dice scissors and hold together. And I might take some of these metal trays. You never know when you need like, to cook a batch of food. Um, and then these are disposable, so you can just get rid of it. You can cover it in foil, store it in the fridge. So I'm gonna take these too. Also, if you know, like there's a grill outside or we're making s'mores or something, these are just good to have. So I'm gonna put my tools on top. And then my favorite tools are coming up. So these are my tongs. I put this in my kitchen tool review, but yeah. Also affordable silicone from Popco. I really still really like these, these with the locking. Put them in, you always need tongs for everything. And then my favorite spatula from Dioro. I'm gonna use this as my main cooking tool. So now the only thing missing from here is my chef's knife. Um, oh, and I'm probably gonna add a paring knife too for like smaller jobs. So this is my Victorinox um, paring knife that I really love. I'm probably gonna cover this legitimately so it doesn't hurt anyone. I'm also gonna take these bag clips. These are like chip clips. 
um, because for our road trip, we might need them when we're opening snacks or when we're just hanging out at the house. If I'm missing any tool that you think would be like really important, let me know. If you also think that I'm kind of already going overboard, it's okay, you can let me know. Okay, I had to like really pause for a moment because I thought I was running out of ideas of like what to pack. By trying to restrict myself so much, I'm also kind of stumped. And uh, I think it's better that I don't overpack and have too much stuff. At the same time, I'm like, am I underpacking? Am I forgetting something crucial? But also keep in mind that my friends are also in charge of bringing certain items. Like one person's bringing instant coffee. Another one is bringing materials for s'mores, you know? So it's like, you know, I don't really need to bring the world, but I just want to be prepared. So I'm going to also add in um, Trader Joe's everything but the bagel seasoning. I feel like this is just good for like if you want to do like avocado toast or just put it on a bagel and then red chili flakes because who are you kidding? It's me, right? And oregano is good because if you just want that little like herbiness in something, especially in a salad dressing like an, or a pasta salad. It's funny because yeah, I don't have a menu in mind, but I think it's dependent on like whatever we find, whatever we're in the mood for, and how often we want to eat in as opposed to eating out. And then I'm going to also add garlic powder. I feel like those are pretty good, right? In terms of spices. I only have this big one, so I'm just going to put it in here. And guys, I think that's it for my sauces and seasonings. Once again, um, last minute, if I feel like, you know, I want to grab my bottle of ketchup or my bottle of sriracha, um, we could do that. But otherwise, we can just buy it over there, too. Thank you guys for watching this and making me motivated to do this because I am now ahead and not procrastinating for our trip. I still have to pack all of our stuff. If I think of anything last minute, I'll add it into my box. But for right, right now, I'm just gonna go for essentials, which is, I think we definitely need aluminum foil. I have the heavy duty one, so I'm just gonna grab that, put it in two. Obviously, this will be good for baking, roasting, putting it in the oven or over the fire if there's some sort of campfire, um, keeping things warm, keeping things clean, covered. So I think aluminum foil is most important. And then I also have this smaller box of cling wrap. Um, same concept. Do we need Ziploc bags and should I bring them? I don't know. I think that maybe I should at least bring this gallon size, you know, this large size. And hopefully somebody else has this snack size. This way we can store leftovers or we can marinate things. Oh, one more thing. I tend to always bring this wherever I go. These are um, gloves for cooking. I tend to bring this um, whenever I want to just do some easy mixing. Also, in terms of like dishwashing stuff, somebody else is bringing that, so I don't have to worry about that this time. So that's good. And then I got these styrofoam plates, which now can fit on top, but oh, I don't know. Maybe they still can't. <laughs> They're just still so big. <laughs> Let me know in the comments if you think that I did a good job this time of not overpacking. I feel like I can't help myself. Like, if I'm gonna go ahead and pack these kinds of plates, I might as well pack utensils, right? Like, I don't think anyone else said that they were going to bring them. So we got some spoons, forks, and knives. I feel like this will be good just for like being in the hotel or on the road too. Not done because I still got to wrap things. I got to add a couple more things. Um, and yeah, just because I'm me, I'll probably end up throwing in like some dried seaweed uh, or some peanut butter or other like prepared foods. But we'll see. I don't know. Oh, you know what would be good if I put in shin ramen too? Oh, I didn't even think about that, but I should put some of that in there too. What do you think, right? I have this big box of Sapporo Ichiban that this camera's sitting on right now. The kids would definitely enjoy eating that. Hmm. I think I'll bring some of that too. I'm glad I got this started. I'll definitely try to rearrange things, um, make it fit better and stuff. But I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you did, remember to push like, leave a comment below, subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss me because otherwise you might not see another video from me again. And also push that bell for notifications and remember to adjust your settings to all if you enjoyed content like this. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye. A lot. That's a lot of food. It is a lot of food. <laughs> oh, that is a good one. Wow. Oh, oh, we smoked it too. Oh. <laughs>
Ich mag die Ist okay. Yum! <laughs> Lincoln, what do you think of the s'more? Good. 